Well, good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you for being on the Street 919 FM. I am Google with you, and I want to thank... Um, I want to thank uh, Dr. Levert for being with us today. Also want to thank um, Mayor's Health for being with us today on the Street 919 FM. And, um, well, today is Monday. Monday the 10th. The 10th of May. <clears throat> very interesting month. Very, very interesting month. We're still having calls from the authorities to have us be safe and inside. And um, <laughs> it's really interesting because hmm, so much can be said. So much has been said. This afternoon at 1 o'clock, the Minister of Finance is going to be talking to us as a nation. Um, he's going to share with us the stimulus package that they are going to give to the needy. Um, people have been waiting to hear that. Also, people have been waiting to hear many other things coming from the minister. Um, but I want you to join me on Facebook and on YouTube. You know, uh, in the news, we're hearing about the new strain of the virus. Also, we're hearing of how the new strain operates. And um, some people are, have been saying that, you know, this, um, this statement has been long in coming. It's a statement on the virus and it's airborne. It's being airborne. And um, there are some people who have this care and they're fright about it. And um, it's really interesting, very interesting for discussion. Um, also, there are other discussions that are coming up. And um, one of the discussions I want to have with you is, I have a video I want to show you of an incident that's happening right now in India. Um, well, not India per se, but is citizens from India who are stranded. Citizens from Australia, sorry. Citizens from Australia who are stranded. They are stranded in Australia. And they, um, they want to go home. But the, the, the uh, authorities in Australia has closed their borders to anybody coming from India to Australia. Um, I want to show you that video. You know, there's some people who say that Trinidad is very heartless. Trinidad and Tobago is very heartless for not allowing their citizens to come back home. Very interesting. And I want to also show you what's happening. I have some videos I want to show you, you know. There's also another video... There's also another video of um, what's happening in India. And I want to show you, I want to have some videos I really want to show you today. So, join me on Facebook. Just type in The Street 919 FM. The Street 919 FM um, on Facebook and on YouTube. You just joining me via our YouTube link, which is. Um, on Iowa TV, on YouTube. So I want you to join me on YouTube and on Facebook. I have two, about, how many videos I have here to show you today? I have one, two, three videos. Three videos I want to show you today. And um, when I show you the videos, we're going to have a discussion around those videos today. So... People are talking about um, the virus being airborne, and I wanted to play you that video to hear your view on it. But I'm not going to show you that video until you come on to our Facebook Live and our YouTube Live. It was on TV. It made news. 
And um, a large it's number. interesting, very interesting what is happening. Um, and again, Trinidad and Tobago, um, you know, we are here just to educate you and to inform you properly and what's, what, what to do and how to protect yourself. So I have another video too. I want. I think it's four videos and all I have to show you. you know, so you have to join me today. Because I have four videos and all I really want to show you today. And the videos I want to show you are, are videos that I believe will really um, open up your eyes to some things that I think you need to be aware of. All right. So it was on our local news about the the um new strain of the virus well the new strain of the virus and also was on our local news where it talks about um the virus being airborne you know the virus being airborne so i want to encourage you to join me join me on facebook join me on youtube and let's get this program on the road it's already quarter past so I'm really just asking you to join me so that we can, I can show you what's going on, get you into the discussion today. All right. So as I said, join me now and um, join me now so that I can show you what's going on and um, we can get our discussion on the road. So the longer you take to join me, the longer it would take for me to show the video. All right, so I'm seeing you coming on. Remember, when you come on on Facebook, tell me where you're joining me from so that we can have a good discussion today. All right? And I really want to make sure that you take all the information that I'm about to share with you also. All right? Uh, let me see what's going on on Facebook. I'm seeing the numbers coming on on YouTube. All right, so I'm seeing people on Facebook coming on. So remember when you come on, share the live, because why I think that this information that I'm about to share with you is very informative. It's going to make you a little more aware of your surroundings and make you more aware of um, what's going on. All right. So as I said before, citizens from Australia who would have went to India want to go back home. They want to go back home. And they are not being allowed to go back home by the authorities in Australia. The authorities in Australia is not allowing them to go back home. And they have taken their plight to the UN and to the, to the world. You know what I mean? To try to get some help. So, it's interesting. While in Trinidad and Tobago, while we are still trying to um, repatriate some of our citizens, and there are people who are outside of Trinidad and Tobago who are trying to tell us that we're not doing a good job at it. Here comes a first world country locking out their citizens who want to come home from India. Telling them that they're not letting them come back. And um, that is really interesting. It's very, very interesting. So I'm going to show the video now. I want to show you this video of um, what made the news last night. Something that made the news last night that jumped out at me that I really wanted to talk about. And this is what it is made the news last night. That jumped out at me, and I wanted to hear your views on it. So give me a call. Um, give, 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 come, come on, log on to the Facebook page three, on the Street 919 FM. You want to know what jumped out at me in the news last night? This is what jumped out at me in the news last night. Look at this. Listen to this train at Tobago. This jumped out at me in the news last night. 
After more than a year of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed what many have been suspecting and dreading. The COVID-19 virus is airborne. The CDC upgraded its guidelines on Friday. In its newly updated guidelines, the CDC confirms that the COVID-19 virus is airborne, saying, quote, Modes of SARS-CoV-2 transmission are now categorized as inhalation of virus. The virus can also be transmitted via deposition on exposed mucous membranes and touching mucous membranes with soiled hands contaminated with the virus. However, the CDC says the ways to prevent infection with this virus remains unchanged, even as it also acknowledges that current evidence strongly suggests transmission from contaminated surfaces does not contribute substantially to new infections, a major curveball for the global population, which has been focusing heavily on disinfecting surfaces from COVID-19. The CDC goes on to say that airborne risk of transmission is greatest within three to six feet of an infectious source. People release respiratory fluids during everyday activities, like exhaling, speaking, and even breathing. And while the largest droplets settle out of the air rapidly within seconds to minutes, very fine droplets and aerosol particles formed when these fine droplets rapidly dry are small enough that they can remain suspended in the air for minutes to hours. This latest guidance confirms that you can contract COVID-19 if you are more than six feet away from where an infected person was breathing virus particles into the air over a period of time, or even by passing through that space soon after the infectious person has left. Renessa Cutting, TV6 News. So, that's Vanessa Cutting from TV6 News. Sharing that information with you. I hope that you did listen. I hope that you did take note. Be very careful, Trinidad and Tobago. But I want to show you this just also to, you know, inform you. So I want to inform you on this also. So listen to this. Make sure and share the, share the live, share the live. But look at this, listen to this. So there are these new variants of the coronavirus that emerged in the UK, South Africa, and Brazil, and they've made their way here. So you may be wondering whether you need to do anything differently with your mask. What we know about these new variants is that they're stickier. They have an easier time attaching to our cells and getting in, so that more virus ends up in our nasal and throat areas. That means with coughing and talking, there's even more virus in our droplets, and that's what makes these variants 50 to 60% more contagious. There's no reason to think that existing masks won't be effective against these new variants, but with more virus floating around, there are some things that we can and should do to up our mask game. Early in the pandemic, you might have bought one of these one-ply cotton masks or even these two-ply masks. But if you are going to use a cloth mask, what you really need is three plies. Two layers of a tightly woven material like high thread count cotton forming a pouch where you add a filtering material like polypropylene. You can buy this or you can cut it out of one of these reusable shopping bags. Or you can create your own filter with a coffee filter or even a vacuum bag. But that leaves a lot of room for error. And if you're not sure if you've got the right material and the right filter, then a surgical mask like this one is a better choice. But just as important as the material is the fit. You want a snug fit to prevent air from escaping around the mask instead of through it. For example, if you wear glasses, you might have had them fog up on you while wearing a mask. And that means that too much air was escaping through the top of the mask. That's why tie masks like this one are more effective than masks with ear loops. The fit is tighter, and as you can see, my glasses don't fog up. But if you are going to use one of these typical medical masks with ear loops, there are a few hacks that can increase the filtration efficiency from about 40% up to about 80%. The first one is knotting the ear loops and tucking in the extra pleat on the side. This simple trick will improve efficiency by about 20%. An easier option with a similar effect is to use one of these ear guards on the tightest hooks or a simple hair clip to pull those ear loops behind your head. You may also have seen people wearing two masks instead of one. That does add an extra layer and it can be helpful by making the inner mask tighter against the face. But as long as the material and the fit are adequate, 
a single mask is sufficient. So make sure you've got the right mask with the right fit. Keep wearing your mask consistently. Keep distancing whenever possible. And we'll all get through this together. So I hope that you took that information. I really, really hope that you took that information and that you allow it to sink in. And that you allow it to, you, you, you know, you share it with your family. That's why we say to you to share the live. To share the life, share the life so that your loved ones and friends can see um, and hear some good advice on how to handle and deal with this COVID-19 and the new strain that is happening and the new variants that's going on all over the world. So I was telling you about the Venice, um, some immigrants who, well, uh, some citizens from Australia who want to go back home. But they are locked out of their own country. And they're claiming that they are not being allowed to come back home. They are not being allowed to go back to Australia. I want to show you this. Look at what's happening in Australia with, well, yeah, with Australian citizens. <laughs> They say that we don't want Indians to come back home. So look at this, John and Tobago. They say that we don't want Indians to come back home. Excuse me, we are not Indians, we are Australians. It is very scary. The situation is getting worse day by day. They should do something. People are dying here. My name is Raj Singh and I'm an Australian citizen living in Australia since 2007 and currently I'm stuck in India in Punjab due to the recent travel ban by the Australian government. Today we agreed to pause direct passenger flights between India and Australia until the 15th of May. I traveled to India because my father had a brain hemorrhage followed by another hemorrhage. So he was quite critical in ICU over three weeks. Uh, so my mother and father had no one here to support them in this difficult time. So I had no choice. I was supposed to travel back on 7th of May. I have a wife and a four month old daughter back home in Sydney. And uh, to be honest, she is not coping. They are very much scared for my safety as well. My name is Sonia Lamba. I'm from Sydney, New South Wales. I'm an Australian citizen. I came to, I'm stuck in India at the moment as my dad was not well, so I want to come and see him. Now this ban, you know, where we can't travel before 15th of May. Uh, if we travel, we will be put behind bars. It is. I'm sure if Australians, Australians are stuck, they would have gone home by now. But because we are Australian Indian, I feel that is the reason. I completely understand restrictions being put in place for the visitors visiting Australia, but to their own citizens. Anyone will think that, yes, why it's against us. So I might now We may not get a flight for another two to three, four weeks, and then after that, there'll be another two weeks of quarantine we have to go through. So, it doesn't look like we'll be home anytime soon. I'm being reading a lot of posts on social media. People are saying you shouldn't have travel, but think about it. It's same that when our borders were closed with New South Wales and Queensland and with other states, people have struggled to see their family members. At least you know they are safe. But here, the situation is that bad. You can't just leave your mother and father because I don't want to travel. We travel because we didn't have other choice. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself for the rest of my life that I was not there if something would have happened to my dad.
All right, so Trina and Tobago, what are your views on what you just heard? Somebody saying um, on Facebook, it has an interesting discussion going on on Facebook. So there are some people who, um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Trina and Tobago, just now. Okay, just now, huh? I'm back with you, Trina and Tobago. I'm back with you. So, Australia. That's what's happening in Australia. Um, well, well, Australian citizens, I should say, who are trying to make their way back home. All right? Australian citizens who are trying to make their way back home. And um, they are stranded. I want you to share the live, share the live. I have another video I want to show you. But I'm not going to show you that video until you share the live. I have one more video to show you. Share the live, share the live. Everybody just... But give me a call, 342-0081. Share the live. 771-1791. Yeah, the live. 466-5391. Now, um, I showed you a video where, you know, on the news last night, they spoke about the virus being airborne. That's one. And two, I showed you a video how you can protect yourself from being infected by the virus, wearing your mask, social distancing, and stuff like that. Also, I showed you a video of... Um, Australian citizens who went to India want to go back to Australia. But Australia, government is saying to them, now, right now, hold all your horses. We are accepting nobody from India here. What are your views? Hello, good morning. Well, I agree with them a little, a little bit, you know, Pastor Google, because you see how you see US, India. And I want to travel. And I want to travel back to go to Australia. I don't know. And I, I, I'm fine. Friday, you, you talk to a friend. I find it take too long. You give him the medicine. You're clean up. You're you giving him the medicine. He's waiting to go to the doctor for he to get the bush one time and, get it, and drink it. And if anything happens to who is to blame? you give giving the medicine. Hand. And I hear when, he, when you call him, he says, Here, get that one. Call him today and find out. Have a pleasant day, Pastor. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Morning, Pastor. Hi, morning. Morning, morning. morning. Yeah, um, well, I'm calling from the Africa Talco area. Um, well, seeing that they have this variant now, right? And I guess when people know the virus, it is uh, very, very dangerous. And it seems India, where we have this massive spike and they don't have this, they don't have that, all these sort of things then, right? I, 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 I don't give the Australian government wrong because I mean to say it's a very they have and it's spreading like wildfire. So I don't give them wrong, a wrong at all. It's just a few of them. And I don't see nothing wrong if you have to sacrifice a few for the greater good of the Australia. Because once they come into Australia, Pastor Google, the first position is the airport, the plane. Okay, the plane. After the plane, now they come into the airport, they come to you now. They have to travel to go home. And they go home. Look at what places you have to go before you reach home then. Right? So I don't see nothing wrong with that. Right? I'm concerning the mass there. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're sharing proper information so the public will be aware. And I want to congratulate 91.9 and all the staff there for continue pushing this COVID, um, this COVID um, guidelines all the time. Pastor Google doing a very, very, very good job. Right? Continue. Um, doing that and it will get like, a just reward someday for that and then the one with the number one way you speak about this with the um, with the job just now they say trying 
and it's floating in the air. So it is much more dangerous now. So that is why we have the right now to stay home, follow the protocol, stay home if you don't need to go anywhere, stay home, wear a mask, wash your hands, maintain your distancing. And once we do that, we have it under control. This is all we have to do. I want to thank you again for the great job you're doing. The station are bringing information to us. It's just for the people now to execute. So, Pastor Guru, keep up the good work, and you have a very, very nice day. And be safe out there. Thank you very much. Hello, Gila. Morning. Good morning, Pastor Google. Hi, morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Pastor Google, I want to congratulate your station for its social responsibility during this pandemic. I heard this morning your station highlighting the number of infected persons and the deaths and so on, and also reminding the people out there that there must be no congregating and people may have to wear a double mask, sanitize, social distance. You know, Pastor Google, I want to say the CDC, they either be very slow or something going on inside of that body there in the U.S. They now confirm that the virus is airborne. So when people, so when you hear people coughing, people, and you see them spitting, run far away. Because they say that the, the, the virus stays in that area. When the people coughing and spitting. So run, run, just run, right? So I want to congratulate you all. So, finally, Pastor Google, yesterday, we, inf we were informed, you know, these people, the opposition with the agenda, they wanted to tell us a certain nonsense. You know, Tobago had no COVID cases, no COVID-19 cases. I said, bravo, Tobago, right? Did you see all those beautiful babies born on Mother's Day? Hey, and by the way, Pastor Google, I want to say belated Mother's Day to your wife and your mother. I hope they had a fantastic day yesterday. So you all continue doing the good work and educating the, the public. And according to Dominic, you have to even, uh, he educate the illiteracy from the UNC, right? Because for a lack of knowledge, people will perish, okay? And stupidity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shady Life. Shady Life. Everybody just Shady Life. All on Facebook, Shady Life. So the number is to call at 342 342-0081-771-1791. 4665391. So you can give me a call. Tell me what are your thoughts. Um, hello, good morning. Hi, good morning, Pastor Google. Hi, good morning. How was your weekend? Okay. It was quiet, sir. Yeah. Um, well, um, I wonder if have any, that have anything to do, um, the, the air have anything to do also with, remember there was once a rumor about the, the 2G and all them things? The 5G. The 5G, I mean. Yeah. You see, I don't know, because um, I, 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 everything always come out um, differently and new by different people in the United States. Uh, the, the Republican or the Democratic views. Yeah. But I just wanted to... Uh, Okay, thank you very much, caller. Hello, good afternoon. Good morning, sorry. I just, um, I just want to address my wife right now. I don't know if how the state of the government is help people with here. See this? Um, if the public could know, right? Which, when well, I hear this is St. George's call this morning, right? On this teacher, right? If, um, let this say, let this know then. Where the spread or the spike in the virus is, so that you know, people will need to go there for something that they really need to get to an area that, if for instance, I want to leave for my area to go to St. George's, then, right? And if I know that this um, virus spreading in that area, then I would not go. 
be a understand. So I think that the, if we do all this, they can more or less help us to flatten the curve then. Because there are not people out here who are not going and who are not calling me help us in the city and say, well, all right, then I have to dress or I'm sleeping or I'm coughing or whatever. They want to stay home now and, and, and then they depart the all about the place up and down the road and they have the virus then. Until then, it really hit them hard now and the children don't know and then they'll be they just able to have the virus that time it has already because some people, the immune system is high. They will not show immediately. But for instance, if your immune system high now and I get from you now and my you now, I get to wrong no, no for now then and I know that you know, I'm not strong like I was then. So I think they should do that and let the people know which part in the country that they have of the virus there. Thank you for taking the call. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Share the live. Share the live. Love on Facebook. Share the live. Go on IG. Share the live. Trend Breaker, please. Share the live. Share the live. So the Australian government I want everybody share. decided that they're not taking back any other citizens who are in India at this time. Come and share. Only share the live now, They are not repatriating any citizen who um, is in India this time. And we are now finding out also that the airborne, the, the virus is airborne, and we're just having a discussion. What is your view? Hello, kid. Morning, caller. Good morning, Pastor As I'm listening to you, you know what flash across my mind? What is that? I wonder if this COVID has anything to do with cell towers. Well, you remember when it first started off, oh. people were saying 5G, 5G, 5G. But my question is, we even now have proper 2G or 3G. Because I know a cell tower was erected in the east. And shortly after, that young lady suffered a lot of bleeding and blah, 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 blah. But me, who do like back and her, we prayed to the Lord and she recovered. But well, my my thing is my thing is when we started the discussion, when the world started the discussion about five G, right? Places in Africa that don't have no G was getting COVID. So that's why people were like, "But wait, now, nah. this thing really has nothing to do with five G, four G, or zero G." Yeah, but in the world over, had cell tower. But I just told you that there are certain places in Africa. That Never. don't have any cell towers. Oh, okay. That's, that's knowledge for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will try to find back. There was a clip yeah. of a chief in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, what happened was that um, the, the the camera crew went into the into the jungles. I believe it's in Africa, um, and where there was there were people who were dying with COVID. And when they interviewed him, he said, "We have no cell towers here." Well, I know there was a jungle in Brazil, too. They had, they probably didn't have cell towers, and most of these people in Brazil were naked. There are certain and parts of people. India that do have any cell towers. How are the people dying? Yeah. All right, so let's erase that from our minds and trust in the Lord Jesus. Please do something for us. Thank you. Amen. 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 We're, trying to, we're trying to find all sorts of reasoning. But the best remedy is to stay inside. inside. <laughs> we don't want to stay inside. Three four two zero zero eight one seven seven one one seven nine one four six six five three nine one. You can give me a call now. Um, I had a call on the line just now, but the caller left. So caller, you can call me back now if you wish. The lines are clear, you know, some of you to say, say you don't get through. So there's like a good chance for you to get through now before we go to the news and share your view. All right. I said to you, I have another video to show. I'll show that video after lunch. Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Google. Hi, morning. Google, the people need to understand. There's no 5G situation causing this thing. People, there's something called biochemical warfare that's going on. Right. You all need to take a pen and piece of paper right now. Google crimson contagion 
and you'll see what crimson confusion is about. Then, Google the CARES Act, C-A-R-E-S, CARES Act. You'll see what that is about. The CARES Act, December 2018, the government of the U.S., initiated a bill so that by the time it was March of 2020, funding was approved by Trump for the COVID pandemic. How did they know in December of 2018 they were going to need money in March of 2020? Right. Thank you. The Crimson Contagion, one last thing. Well, well I have contagion. another caller holding, you know, so I can't give you... But I'm trying to help these people with the Crimson Yeah, but I have contagion. another caller holding that's spending his money, so, and we're going, right. for a break. we're going for the news. Hello, good afternoon, good morning. Good morning, Pastor Kubo. Hi, good yes, morning. Sorry about that. that. Hello. No, 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 I can hold on and always call back once you uh, tolerate... Um, or taking color. Anyway, um, I think there's too many information going out there, confusing the people. Pastor Google, I don't know if you remember in the early they talk about this virus being airborne, but if you're in the same room yeah. and if somebody sneezes or cough and the thing would be flying from one area to the other. So why they're not bringing it up? Why they don't inform the people properly, you know? And saying this airborne, because my friend told me, you know, this thing airborne now. I said, what do you mean? So I have to go through it with her. And then, you know, I on my computer too, because I'm on the computer, I'm on the phone, and I talk on it her. And I said, listen, let me get the definition for you. And I pull up the definition of it. All right? And so you see, the, the thing is to inform the people. Because a lot of people are hearing a lot of nonsense people talking. And let the people know just what you're doing there. You're bringing up information and letting people know. That is what they need to know. And people have to listen to the <laughs> right people. My cousin, and they send me all kind of foolishness. I have to send them back information. And then she will tell me, you know, it's the same thing happening over here. Because they're getting the wrong information. And they don't remember the first information they received. Have a pleasant morning. All right, thank you very much. Hello, good afternoon. Good morning. Hello. All right, Colin, you have to call me back. All right, somebody's saying, Google, imagine you have on a big mask and we're hearing you clearly. That's because I up and the microphone. One and two, I have on the mic very loud. So I do understand your point. There are other media colleagues that I know wear masks in studio and they have their mic very loud. And the microphone is a condensed and it's a wave. Hello, good um, morning. Good morning, Pastor Google. Greetings to you, my brother. Hey, how are you going? I will tell you, right? hanging and holding, trusting in God. Reverend Helena, man, I remember. Good morning to the one ninety-one point one family. Ninety-one point nine. Ninety-one point nine family and the Miss Iwa George and everybody else. Pleasant morning. Greetings to you and yours, but I'm Pastor Google. I remember last year. Sometimes when this COVID was re um, COVID virus was raging, they had shown you in the in different restaurants where they they put it in a blue ink like. And how the, how the, 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 it will go through the different plates and the different forks and the different things. That's the same airborne. That's the same airborne. You sit down together and you're talking. Remember when you sit down together, you can't eat it a mask. We don't know who has it. We don't know who don't have it. And I feel, with all due respect to you, Pastor Google, answer pertinent questions. The questions now is keep on your mask, wash your face, wash your hands, and go out when you have to go. You are no medical person. You are no you are studying no 5G. You just stay put and let them know this is the time with people we are in a serious time. We are in a dark period of Trinidad that we never believed that we would have gotten to because we were commended through the world. When we were commended when we had the first death, 
the opposition was so glad they brought all the dead before the family was informed. When afterwards they were saying, open the borders, let the people come in. Let them come and vote. Let the people come in. They were saying every imaginable thing. Now you have spokespeople saying now that the, the Chinese um, um, vaccine and the what vaccine, people have to be guinea pigs. So listen to me. Who wants to take it? Take it. You know the only thing I saw it for the front right now because the nurses, because nurses are going down. Doctor, I got this young doctor that has died. Look at this father and son that died. Some people are not that you know. Some people are looking at radio. They are reading no papers. They're just on one thing to anything to make the government look bad. This is nothing but government now. This is nothing but opposition now. This is working together to get out of this hole that we are in. And if we are not interested in doing that, I want to say, and you see people feel when they take the vaccine, you're immune. That doesn't say you're immune. But if the virus should take you, it will not affect you as badly as the others. But I want to encourage people. This is what we have to do. And like stick break in the ears. And I want to encourage the other day I spoke and, and then um your, your friend who is a patient would come on and another patient to say, well, they do this and they do that. If Miss Tamla Pastor Pistesa will encourage her people, when I say her people, the people that have in higher esteem to just obey. I see on yesterday papers the day before when Mr. Monila taking his afternoon. They show you that, you know. We don't know if she take it or when she take it. But encourage the people. Just obey. You don't have to like the PNM. You don't have to like Dr. Rowley. This thing here is not a PNM or opposition anymore. He is the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago have a right. Trinidad have a right. So if I tell you, go and jump in the sea, I responsible if you do that. So if Dr. And they paid over and over last night. If you want to go to Tobago, you are free to go to Tobago. But have behavior. What more you must tell them? Take break in there. Have a nice morning, boy. Listen, Pastor, sorry for calling you, boy. Pastor Google, sometimes this station, sometimes the people who call in just make me so upset. Sometimes I don't feel to call. But I want to tell everybody, without following the instructions, we are going nowhere. So have a nice morning. I empathize with the people who have lost their loved ones. You know, when you're having seven that one day, six that one day, this is real. What you want again? Have a nice morning. All right, thank you very much. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Pastor Google. How are you this morning and everyone else? I am all right. Right. I mean, um, I was listening to the update, so I didn't get your full program, but um, I know according to the papers and whatever is being said about this guinea pig talk with vaccines, I think that talk is to make people feel they shouldn't go and take the vaccines, but I hope people have, well, I mean, the majority are sense, you know, who don't know they, what they are trying to do. I hope they know that they should go for their vaccine because I don't know when people, when, according to someone, the person said it had their vaccine and if they are discouraging people from taking it, that means they want people to die. So I hope we, they have sense to know what is right from wrong. Because right. the next thing he might tip is they believe what he's saying. The next thing he may tell them, drink some of the G substance. And I don't know if they will go and take that. So let them have a brain in their head and know what is right from wrong. All right. Right. Thank you very much. All right. So we're getting ready to go for the news. Let me see if I can squeeze in this caller. Hello. Good morning. I know people are good, brother. But I'd like to see Mudra come on. All right. Okay. All right, I hear you. Like, share the light. Everybody just share the light. You listen up? Listen up. Yeah. All right, so we're getting ready to go for the news at 12. Don't have to share the light. So stay on the live. We're coming back. We might have another video to show you. A very interesting video. So when I show you that video, I want to hear your views on this.
So coming back after the show now to be real. Are anointed, and if your feet are anointed. Oh. 